Hi guys, welcome to Not So Sunny Singapore. And if you think about it, the gray skies behind me are a little bit representative of what's been going on this year in the watch industry. This year in 2016, the watch industry, the Swiss watch industry is facing its greatest crisis ever to find new relevance with new audiences and really develop its clients for tomorrow. But one man that's been totally focused on this is the incredible Jean-Claude Beaver, who in his capacity as the head of all of LVMH Group watches and specifically in his capacity as the CEO of Tag Heuer, is enacting a change in terms of affordable luxury, in terms of connected watches, and in terms of branching out to connect with every sort of lifestyle in the world. Today he's having breakfast with me in my flat up here. So join us. Mr. Beaver, thank you so much for joining me here in my apartment in Singapore. And it's funny, as soon as you stepped in, it's starting to get sunnier. <laughs> yes. And I think this is very much a representation of what you're doing in the watch industry. I have so much respect for that, and I have so much respect that also in particular for this incredible product that you have called the Connected Watch. Only Tag Heuer would have the right to me to make a gold connected watch because a gold Apple watch in two years time becomes a lump of inanimate gold because the electronics are defunct. Yes. Whereas because you allow people from a modular perspective to remove the electronic module and put in a mechanical module, that is now a gold mechanical watch and it is eternal. Am I correct? And it is eternal and it is a UPS, as the Americans say, a unique selling proposition, a USP. Yes. Yes. Nobody. There is not one uh, 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 computer brand, LG, Samsung, Sony, Apple, yes. who can offer the same. Yes. They can all offer what we have, yes. the same features as our uh, connected watch, yes. but the additional part, which is the transformation from something that becomes obsolete into something that becomes eternal, eternal. Yes. this is impossible, this is only uh, uh, tag yes. who can do it. Yes. And that is why we brought out this gold watch. Yes. In Basel we will bring out a one million dollar connected watch wow. because it will be eternal. Yes. Nobody can do a one million uh, connected watch that is obsolete in three years. But we can do. That's incredible. And you know what's interesting too <laughs> is I just thought that actually not only can you transform it from electronic to mechanical, you can transform it back. So the yes. next generation of electronic watch, you can replace after that. So you have the choice. You have the perpetual choice to go between yes. these two different phases, yes. right? It's, 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 it's absolutely genius. Please. It's absolutely genius. I must say, it yes. is a genius thing. Yes. It's, yes. it's a revolution yes. for Tag Heuer and for the Swiss watch industry. Yes. And that is the best, I mean, that is the ideal solution for yes. the Swiss. Fantastic. Now, why are we the only Swiss brand to have entered the connected watch. I don't know why. I even don't understand. And I have one hope that in six months we will see three, four, five brands. Yes. Because when you want to promote, it's always more easy if you are four or five yes. competitors than yes. if you are alone. Of course. So it reaffirms the category. Exactly. Yes. So I yes. just hope that the Swiss will follow uh, uh, our track. I love also the way in which you have been communicating the connected watch. And I think that we can agree that the, w the way people have become influencers has become very democratic. And through social media, you have a whole new array of opinion makers that are not the traditional type of celebrities that you have, but because people are fascinated by their lives, to take the connected watch and embed it in the guys that are training for the New York Marathon. And that was great. And it also is great because it's only the connected watch, specifically, that makes sense to be worn in this um, big situation because it gives you all the metrics for your performance. Tell me about that. You know, I thought that was great. So to start with the social media, uh, you cannot talk to the new generation if you talk a language which they don't understand. Completely agree. Uh, you know, to come back to history, uh, it was the problem of a church called the Catholic Church. <laughs> yeah. These guys have a pope yeah. in uh, Vatican, yeah. in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> and for centuries, on Sunday yeah. at church, yes. they were reading and, uh, and singing in Latin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was born yeah. in '49. Yeah. So when I went to church when in, uh, in uh, 55 yes. or 53, yes. uh, I had to learn uh, Latin. Latin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So, <laughs> I had no envy to learn Latin. Mm -hmm. And one day the church said, in order to conquer more customers, yes. <laughs> let's uh, make uh, the church in the, country, in the language of the country, yes. so in French. Yes. If you are going to uh, recruit young people and you talk Latin, yes. you are lost. Absolutely. And what is the Latin language today? It's the, <laughs> the media which are not uh, uh, electronic. Agreed. So we said, let's go into social media. Of course. Last year, Pope Francis, who's my favorite pope, yes, because Pope yes. Francis understands that he needs to be modern. Yes. He traveled around the world, yes. and he went to Catholic countries, but he also went to non-Catholic countries, and he met everyone, and he talked to everyone. And when asked, Pope Francis, why are you doing this? Because, and he said, because the era of authority is over, and the era of persuasion has begun. I think that there's three revolutions that are going on right now which are united. And I think it's interesting to know what you think about where the watch fits into this. Social media, one. Direct streamed entertainment and e-commerce. Yes, right? the three are linked. Yes, the three are linked. And because I feel as if the future is related to entertainment and acquisition simultaneously, right? Where can you fit into this? You know, the big revolution is coming. Yes. When? Between 2035 and 2045. Yes. And people say, what? But why do you say 2035, 2045? Because the 21st century, today we are in 2016, the 21st century has not yet started to exist. Yes. Why? Because on the 31st of December, 1999, everybody said, Wah! Happy birthday! Happy New Year! 21st century! Drinking champagne yeah. and having a, a big feast. Yes. But the same people, yes. with the same mentality, yes. with the same philosophy, yes. with the same concepts, yes. woke up on the 1st of January 2000 and they did the same as they were doing in the 20th century. Completely. Where is the 21st century? Completely. It has not started. Yes. Because nobody from the 21st century's yes. mentality, nobody from the 21st uh, century concept, yes. nobody from the 21st century's philosophy is shaping yes. the future. Yes. But it will come. I agree. When? When they will be 35 years old. Yes. Yes. Between 35 and 45. Yes. Yes. Then for the first time, yes. We will have people with a new mentality, yes. a new philosophy, yes. a new concept yes. of life of their century. And they will start to shape this yes. century, yes. which means the century will start. Yes. But we can already feel now, yes. and we must now start to see in which direction is it going. Yes. Because we will be like when the continent separated, yes. and Africa went here, and America there. Yes. Whoever was in the middle, yes. he sunk. Yes. And how can we know it? There's only one experience. It's the one I do. On the 21st of December, 2015, I said to my wife, uh, we are leaving for Tokyo. I have been to Tokyo 140 times. Yes. And then she said, but you have been to Tokyo nearly 140 times. Yes. You go now to Tokyo? Yes. I said, yes, because I don't know Tokyo. Yes. What do you mean you don't know Tokyo? I don't know Tokyo of my son. I know ah. the Tokyo of old Mr. Beaver. Sure, sure. But the Tokyo of my son is completely different. Is completely different. It's not Ginza no. <laughs> to say something. <laughs> and it's not Wako. Yes. Shop. Yes. I did the same in London. Yes. And I did the same uh, last week in, the in the you, States. You experienced the world through new eyes. And this yeah. is how I learn how the young are living, yes. what the young people like, yes. what are their perception of luxury, yes. and how many people are trying to understand the 16 years old. Yes. None! Yes. They're old because all the CEOs yeah. that are sur I'm surrounded with are 45, yes. 50 years old, yes. and they, they believe they know but they know their time, yes. they don't know the next time. Yes. And in order to understand tomorrow, you must look at the kids that are going to shape tomorrow. That's so that's very simple. It's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Beaver. As always, it's an incredible pleasure.